Welcome to my channel, The Vent Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks, and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet, and much more. Today I'll be showing you how to make this satellite heart fascinator as you requested for in one of my videos. Sit back, relax, and learn. Let's dive in. We'll be needing a hat wire, already covered with bias. I would put the link of where we did it, where I did it in one of my videos in the description below. We'll be needing an extra bias, matching color, or you can use a different color. It's all your choice. Creativity is the word. Then a matching thread with needle. I've already um, threaded one of the needles. Normally I double my thread. I don't do single and that's to make sure that whatever I sew is firmly sewn together. It doesn't come out at any time. Then you'll be needing Uhu gum. You can use B6000, B7000 depending on your choice. I actually used two in this video. You'll be needing your measurement tape. You'll be needing a big crinoline. You can decide to use a different color depending on your choice. So that's our big crinoline there. And then we have this um, already made fascinator that I'm going to use to make the satellite fascinator. It has the ready made base. Then I put some flowers and pleated crinoline on it. Then we will need our scissors. First thing we do is to get the size of our crinoline that would go around the hot wire. So that's what I'm checking. So you see, then I give an extra inch just to help me go and cut out the excess. So that's what you do. Next thing you do is at the edge, you put your Uhu B6000, B7000, whichever one, on it and place it. Then you cut off the excess. Once you're done, you put the crinoline back into the hot wire that you've covered with bias and you start sewing the two ends together using running stitches. So that's the close up view of the running stitches. Hope you got it. So let's continue. Great news! I've created a Facebook group where we could meet together and you could show me what you have made on any of the DIY you have watched. So there's going to be a picture of each of them. All you need to do is comment with a post of the picture. So if you check the description link below, you would see the link. Thank you. After you're done sewing, you need to check it to see if the hat base would fit on it. Once you're done, you use pin to hold the edges, the two edges together. This will enable you to know whether you need to squeeze it more or relax the your running stitches so that they would all lap perfectly to each other. Once that's done, then you start sewing it together. Remember I told you I double my thread to ensure that everything stays firmly together and doesn't come out at any time. So what you're going to do is anytime you go to the part that is the front, you will take a tiny pinch in 
so that the thread is not seen above as on the top part of the hat or the fascinator. Are you gaining some knowledge from this? Then please do click the like button. Thank you. Also, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click the bell button so you don't miss any of my marvelous DIYs or lovely designs to tweak your creative mind. Thank you. Okay, you knot your thread, knot it firmly so it doesn't loosen and after you're done you start taking the pins out of the hat or your fascinator. You know this almost looks like a hat too so that's why I keep interchanging with hat and fascinator. Then the next thing you take your bias and cover up the part that was joined together in the crinoline. You have to cover the two edges so there's no shooking anyone there there's no hair sticking out there you ensure you cover it securely You know, when you lapped the two on each other, you would like have two edges, two places that you have the edge of the crinoline showing. So that's what I'm covering. I'm covering those two edges so that the crinoline doesn't come off at all or it doesn't look rough. This will hold both sides firmly. The next thing I do is to take bias again and cover the edges. Thread is not showing, but it kind of gives it a neat feeling. Uh, gum came out from the Uhu gum so I'm making use of it with my hand there but you will see I will change from Uhu to P7000 and the reason is not that anyone sticks better than in, in either one but the P7000 comes out smaller and you know the bias is kind of thin so you actually need one a, a gum that has a small mouth that brings out gum little so it's much easier to use If you have any questions so far concerning this DIY, please do write things in the comment section below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Once you're done with the top, you turn the back and cover the joinings to the or oh, pardon the way the back of the hat was covered there. I will change it using the last a part of this video that it was changed or oh, work should be neat and looks good. So here is our lovely satellite fascinator ready to wear thanks for watching 
hope to see you soon.